Traveling this summer, sleeping in new locations can be a challenge. That's why we have sleep expert Amanda Jusen getting up early for us this morning on Morning Live. Good morning, Amanda. How you doing? Good morning, Bob. How are you? Good. It's not easy sleeping just anywhere. No, it's not. Actually, there is something called the first night effect. And it means that any time we sleep outside of our own space, we tend to sleep poorly on the first night. And it's our body's way of protecting us and saying, hey, you're not in your usual location. We're going to keep you a little more alert and aware just in case something crazy yeah, happens. Almost a defense mechanism. Exactly. You got it. Yeah. Well, after that, actually, we just came back from a cruise and I found the sound of the ocean was actually very calming and there was no problem sleeping. Well, see, that's a perfect little segue. That's why you're the pro, Bob, <laughs> into my top three products that I would suggest traveling with. Okay. Uh, number one. I suggest white noise. Why? Because it allows our brains to focus on that other sound and not the other loud family that you're traveling with. Elevators, people in the hallway, that's going to focus your brain on that other thing and not the fact that these people are being loud. It's wonderful. I travel with a little lavender everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. Why? Because lavender induces relaxation in the body. When our bodies are more relaxed, it's easier to fall asleep and stay asleep. Yeah, I know Finally, people that put it on their pillows. Yes, and there's lavender spray. You can yeah. spray it in the air. Yeah. Um, By the way, speaking of pillows, so yes. uh, hotels, like, can you request pillows? Or they're always like, is there a pillow menu? Yes, it is a total thing. I love it. Wherever I go, I ask for the pillow menu because depending on how you sleep, whether that's your side, your stomach, your back, you're going to require a different level of support. So don't be afraid to call ahead to the, your hotel and say, listen, I would like a range of hotels or <laughs> I would like a range of pillows to try out. <laughs> um, and they will often leave the pillow in your room for you to try out. You pick the best one and have your best rest. Okay. Uh, there was another product you were just about to mention too. Oh, it's it's not a product. It's kind of something silly, but it's it's something a little bit secret that I travel everywhere I go. This is a roll of garbage bags. <laughs> and okay. the reason for this is that it allows two layers of, of garbage bag of, of bags, a little bit of painter's tape on the side. You're going to create perfectly blackout sleeping conditions wherever you go. So this is especially helpful for really bright cottage spaces or oddly shaped windows. Um, there are two Cheap and cheerful, and they work. Okay. What about uh, tips for those traveling with kids? <laughs> well, I have two little ones myself, and the one thing that I tell all of my my friends and my clients is travel with your sleep routine. If you establish a good set of behaviors before sleep that is weightless in terms of packing, you can pack it anywhere you go. Something like a bath, book, bed, everywhere you go, it's going to allow your child to fall asleep easier. Another trick that parents may not know about is most hotels have uh, big bathrooms, okay? Okay, and most travel uh, travel cribs and pack and place can fit within that space, giving your baby their own separate sleep space. Finally, there are these wonderful enclosures that go over travel cribs or pack and plays that give baby their own room essentially within a shared sleeping space. So this not only saves you money in not having to get another hotel room for your child, but allows them fully blackout conditions oh. wherever you are. Okay, hey, we got to scoot, uh, but we're going to link up yeah. your socials and website for more great sleep awesome. tips. Thanks, Amanda. Please do. Thank you. Have a good one.